Did you know that anti-government activism can fetch you a luxurious life? A great home, a vacation in the Alps. It's possible if you know how to file RTIs and fool people. Activism is a trillion dollar industry. It needs no initial capital. It needs relentless PR. So if one is ready to give two to three years building an aura around him or her, the results could be fascinating. You could earn obscene amounts of money tax-free. And Saket Gokhale, the RTI activist nobody likes, has been earning big money by allegedly duping people. Let me tell you how. And welcome, you watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI media group. I'm your host Atul Mishra and in this video I will tell you how Saket Gokhale swindled rupees 76 lakhs from desperate anti-Modi brigade. Let's begin. Saket Gokhale is an alleged scamster. He has been living a luxurious life of the bits thrown at him by like-minded imbeciles who think they can effectuate a regime change in India through PIL and RTI activism. Saket Gokhale files free right to information claims. He has also been filing police complaints against his political and ideological adversaries of late. Gokhale, however, has been accused of merely filing complaints and RTI applications and not following up on them. Particularly in cases involving courts, the man is quick to file PILs without actually following up on them. So the legal costs incurred by him are practically zero. Yet, Saket Gokhale has been seeking crowdfunding for at least two to three years now. He asked people to donate to his cause of activism so that he may keep those in power in check. Therefore, liberals, far-left extremists and Islamists end up getting trapped into Gokhale's alleged financial scam. One such specimen. Hussain Hadri is very annoyed. Hadri even took to Twitter to claim how Gokhale never replies if one asks for CA audited receipts, payment accounts and status of work done till date in terms of FIR, PIL and RTI complaints filed with cost per case among other details. Hussain Hadri did not pull any punches. He went for Saket's jugular. Hussain said that when people demand transparency from Saket Gokhale, he often responds with, you did not donate to me or take your money back. Saket Gokhale seems to have allegedly raised Rs 76 lakhs in one year to fund his operations. One user pointed that after people started demanding accountability from Saket Gokhale, he moved from a fundraising platform to a direct payment platform, thus removing even an ounce of transparency obligations. It is important to mention here that Saket Gokhale was previously a Congress and Gandhi Poodle before eventually joining the Trinamool Congress. Now he is a spokesperson for the TMC. A major point of contention between TMC supporters and liberals in general is that Saket Gokhale's filings, whether they be PILs or FIRs, should have the TMC letterhead to add weight to the complaints. Gokhale disagrees. He continues to put himself at the forefront as publishing complaints with the TMC letterhead will convince his foolish donors that he has sufficient financial backing from the party. That would mean his alleged yet extravagant extortion racket would dry up and the many luxuries of his life would be snatched from him in a jiffy. Saket Gokhale wants us to believe that he allegedly raised Rs 76 lakh in a year for monthly expenses and sustenance. It almost looks like all Indians should become activists and begin crowdfunding lakhs of rupees for, well, sustenance. This is a sure shot way of eliminating poverty in India. The crowdfunding would have made sense had Saket been using the money on the causes he champions. If accusations being hurled at him are anything to go by, that is not the case. And Gokhale is merely using the activism car to earn big money. This is proven by the fact that Saket Gokhale is still refusing to come clean on how he spent the money on legal complaints. Interestingly, in February 2020, Saket had claimed that the money he raised helps pay my expenses for the work I do full-time. What is his full-time work? Phony activism. Now, however, he's claiming that the money raised is used in covering his expenses. If this is not the grandest about turn in the history of about turns, we don't know what is. Saket Gokhale has landed in hot soup now because he has begun antagonizing the very people who funded his fraudulent activism. Sustenance will soon become difficult for the man.